community organizations to assist in responding to campus sexual violence and model memorandums of understanding will be available in the resource portal. So the $2 million, $2 million that are appropriated in the budget will be used to implement support strategies and to summarize those. It includes data analysis of campus climate survey data, jointly purchasing training for campuses, providing a consultant to help campuses with comprehensive response protocols, and providing training on survivor-centered strategies. Host a campus sexual violence prevention and response summit to focus on implementing the five recommendations that we've discussed, and provide individual grants for which institutions can apply to implement the five recommendations within the changing campus culture report. Going forward, there are also plans for regional meetings as campuses work to implement these strategies. And I look forward to continuing to work on this. This is extremely important work. And working on that with all of our campuses, you will see from the comments to follow by my colleagues that our eyes are focused 100% on our students 100% of the time. So we must do more. We must raise the bar. At this time, I would like to invite President Crandall to the podium. Thank you, President Johnson. It's a pleasure to be here today with you on the Chancellor to announce this important initiative. I'm Kathy Condor, I'm the president of Audubon University. Today, all of our campuses are struggling to prevent cases of sexual violence, and we're trying to support the survivors during the recovery process. Working alone as individual institutions, we will not solve this problem alone. Governor Kasich and the Department of Higher Education recognize the need to bring experts together from around Ohio, including universities, law enforcement, mental health field experts, government and sexual violence support groups, to create a plan that all universities can implement to address this challenge. The plan we announced today goes to the heart of what needs to be accomplished in order to win this battle. We need to change campus culture, simply put. Changing our campus culture is the only way to make a lasting impact of reducing sexual violence and ensuring that our students know they will be supported in their time of need. Quick fixes and window dressing will not solve the problem and will simply grow the trust deficit. Collaboration has resulted in the creation of the Changing Campus Climate Culture Report and recommendations, but it must not end there. We are all affected when sexual misconduct occurs. We all know the lasting effects of both physical and psychological injuries that, that result. Our only way to combat this problem to work together. Whether we are a small institution or a large institution, all of our students have a right to a safe and accepting learning space. I look forward to engaging with all of our campus partners as we work to move the needle on this important issue. And I look forward to seeing how Ohio can lead the nation in its response to and prevention of campus sexual violence. I'd now like to invite Dr. Javon Gaston Adams to Thank you, President Crandall. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Javon adams Gaston. I'm the Vice President for Student Life at The Ohio State University. I want to thank you for inviting me to join you on behalf of President Drake, who asked me to send his greetings and his regrets that he could not be here to be a part of this very important discussion. No matter the size of the school, for its location, for its student demographics. I think that we can all agree that ensuring strong cultures of responsibility and civility on our campuses is an issue that Ohio's leaders of higher education must acknowledge and promote. And there's no better time to tackle this than right now. Ensuring support for victims is important. And it's important to maintain fairness as the touchstone of our disciplinary process. It is critical that we provide training, counseling, education, and prevention efforts that can mitigate the issue. By elevating this issue to a statewide conversation, Governor Kasich and Chancellor Carey have created a pathway for collaboration across institutions to share information, best practices, 
and a general sense of support. Equally important is the collaboration within our individual campuses and with our local communities. We know firsthand that national and local data will provide for us a continuing foundation for understanding the scope of this widespread issue. We are strengthening our collective ability to make our state safer and a more simple space for our students to thrive and succeed. I am confident that working together and collectively striving for one common goal, we will change our campus culture. Thank you.